What is going on guys? This is EK1 Gaming here and today's video we're bringing you a video on video proc and telling you how to one add a watermark to a video and two how to actually create a watermark. We're going to be using two programs. One of those is video proc and one of those is Photoshop. But as long as you can create an image with a transparent background, you don't necessarily need Photoshop. Now, before we get into the video, be sure to hit that like button if you find this video helpful. Hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell to be notified every time we upload content. So getting into the video, basically first off you will need to download Video Proc. Now the link for this is in the description below. If you use that link, there's a free version and of course there's a paid version. There's also 60% off Video Proc right now. It has a lot of different features which I've gone through in a previous video, which will I link that to the top right of this video now. So if you click there, it will take you to the actual video showing you all the features. Now, one of the features we went through briefly on the last video was the watermarking system. And basically, that's under video. You add a video to the actual uh, display. And you, you see the options here. It say effect, watermark, cut, crop, etc. Of course, we're going to do the watermark one. And that's how to get a watermark to appear either in the background or crystal clear. Like if you've, if for example, you look here on the video, there's an old watermark that I'd already put on, but we're going to add a new watermark to this video. Now, why do you need a watermark to start with? Well, it stops people from taking your content. You know, YouTube are not always the best at, at, at informing you when people have taken your videos and used it on their own sites or their own videos. So if you've watermarked that, that gives it your ownership, you know, your logo or whatever you want written there for everyone to see. So you can pretty much put that out. If you're also doing videos like I do sometimes where um, companies will approach you for a sponsorship and they'll want you to send them a video first before you release the video and before you get payment, then you might want to just watermark it as like sample or something like that or not to be distributed or something like that if it's a company you don't work with regularly and you don't know. So to start with, let's go ahead and get into actually making a um, watermark or actually creating one. So you're going to need like a program like Photoshop. As you can see, I've got Photoshop here and we need to go to file and new. Now the size don't really matter here because you can edit the size in it, but you do want like a, a, a decent-ish size. So I would just go like 1280 by 720. So that would be like the normal size of a thumbnail, for example, okay? Now on the background content, you're going to want to select transparent because you don't want anything to be in the background. So if you put like a white background, basically on your video, you're going to cover it with a white background, with a white square straight over the top. So I wouldn't mess around with any of the other settings unless you're really into design and you really want it to look something special. But because it's a watermark, you don't really need to play around with like the RGB colors and stuff like that. So click create and you'll see a load of little squares. Now this is transparent. So basically these squares will not appear on the actual design when you um, export it. If you export it correctly, which I'm going to tell you how to do later on. Now, here you can just pretty much put anything within here. So, if you wanted to, example, uh, for example, write something like sample, you can literally type sample, put it in the middle there. When you save this as a PNG, so file, export, export as PNG, pick somewhere to save it. So, we're just going to go test one, save it on the desktop. Now, when it's there, you can see that it's just got the writing. Now, when you open it here, you'll see none of this black around the edge will show. It will just literally show that writing. Now, we're going to be a bit more creative. You don't want to just put sample. You know, that's not really uh, something you'd want to do on all of your videos. You might have, say, for example, a logo or you might have something along those lines that you want to import or put onto each video as a um, either as a strong logo on the actual video itself or just a faint a faint one on like the background of the video so if, to do this you can go file you can place embedded 
go to wherever your logo is so let's for example say it's going to be my logo so here we go so pick one of your logos if it's already a png that's perfect that's even better if it's not a PMG, you'll have to uh, go on and uh, edit it, cut round it, etc. to make it a PNG. So, for example, let's use this one. We'd hardly use this one at all. So as you can see, it's just my logo. There's no white border around it. If you need to know how to do the cutting out around it, let me know in the comment section below and I'll walk you through how to do that. Now, basically, just place this anywhere, so potentially in the middle. Now, because my logo is offset, it's not set to middle. I have to, like, move it over by the eye to try and make it in the middle. But pretty much anywhere on here will be acceptable. Now, you're going to go to File, Export as PNG, as usual. Save it. Logo watermark. Right, now that's saved, okay? So this will be your logo saved. It won't be my logo. You can use my logo if you want, but I don't think you want my logo all over your videos. So let's go back out now and just show you exactly from the start here. So you click video on video proc, add a video. So this could be, let's go for watchdogs video because that hasn't got a watermark on it. So when it's loaded your video, you'll see it in the panel here. You can do loads of different things. Just click watermark. So what's gonna happen now is you'll see your original video here and your preview of what you're editing on the right hand side. There's one thing I really like about Video Proc, and it's that it gives you that preview panel. So at the bottom here, you're gonna notice, it's gonna say enable watermark, and you're gonna wanna be able to do that, or you're gonna want to do that. But get to a point, say for example, at the start of your video here, enable watermark, and now you can do this one of two ways. You can import what we have created on Photoshop, However, they have their own built-in option where you can literally just type and it will appear here. Now, I choose not to use that. I choose to make my own because you want your own font. You want all that good stuff that you've actually made. You want it to be personalized to you. So for me, I click image and then I click add image. Go to where the image is saved, which is logo watermark on the desktop right here. And as you'll see, it's a safe, actual full-on logo, right? So you can see that logo. You can't see anything behind it. Now, you might want to just put a logo, for example, you know, drag it into like the bottom corner, for example, etc. Or you might want it in the top corner or wherever you want this, okay? You can put it wherever you want it. However, if you want it to just be like this, but so you can see what's behind it, you go down the bottom left here and it says transparency. You basically just play with that. So you see it getting more duller and duller. So if you want to see what's in the background, however, you still want to see the outline of my logo or of your logo, you can do this as well. So let's play this video and kind of show you guys what it's going to look like as it goes through. You can see it as it's, as it's flicking through. You can still see the faint lines. Now, one thing to mention, which you probably would have noticed in there, your computer wasn't lagging right then. This preview panel, it does it almost like, not frame by frame, but similar kind of uh, transition to that. So when it's playing, it will jitter. And that is because you need to be able to control when you want the certain things. So if you wanted to stop at a certain point, you could jitter it and press um, pause, and it will pause it on a definite frame or a definite part of the video that you want. Now with that, you can also put on a time code if you wanted. So instead of the logo, you can just put a time code and it will just put the time in the top right corner, bottom left corner, wherever you want it. So you can just click that and it will add it wherever you want it. Now you can put the dates, all that good stuff. But I, as I say, stick to the image, put it as transparent as you want. So you might want it so you can actually see some of it. It might just be that you do want the text, you know, you might just want it to say, do not distribute or you know this is whatever you know samples etc this works really well to stop people from kind of stealing your content and actually uh, using it for their own because there's a lot of people that do that now the next video we're going to be covering on this channel to do with video proc will be how to download music and etc from youtube to your phones or to your devices mp3 players if anyone even uses an mp3 player anymore or even just have it onto your computer as mp3s and also it basically downloading videos so basically if you don't have one of these i can download your video and i can keep it and use it or do whatever 
you don't want that to happen. So please, please, please watermark your stuff, even if it's just a little one in the corner. I wouldn't recommend having a huge one over the background here. But just to, just to bear in mind, if you do want it in the corner here, make sure you put your design in the corner there. So lower it down and put it in the corner. So say, for example, I want it in the top left corner. Imagine this square at those dimensions is your actual screen. So if you want it in the corner, basically add the image. Uh, sorry, save this image here. So export as PNG. Make sure it's always PNG. We'll save it as entitled for now just so we can do this. So we want to add an image and then look for untitled. And you can see it in the corner there if I just bring it out. So that this square is your screen. This is your viewing panel. This is what your panel looks like. So position it, size it wherever you want it at the start. If you want it to cover the whole screen, make sure you make it big by doing the whole screen. If you want some tutorials on Photoshop, I'm not the expert on Photoshop, but I do know how to use it. I do know how to cut around and do stuff for thumbnails. If you want that, make sure you leave me a comment in the comment section below. We can do some videos on that as well. So guys, I hope this video has helped you out with adding a watermark to your um, videos or to your designs. If you need to know anything else, ask the questions in the comment section below. I will answer every single one. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe button, and go get yourself video proc. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all next time. Let's go!